bears are often uninvited guests in neighborhoods across Southern California. Perhaps that's why a group of alleged fraudsters thought they could dress up as uh, a bear. Yeah, and damage their luxury cars and collect huge claims. Well, state investigators say not so fast. Their act was a bust. KCAL News reporter Tom Wade is live in Glendale with, uh, I would say, a pretty bizarre story, Tom. Yeah, this is so bizarre, Pat. Not only did they dress up as a bear, according to investigators, they recorded themselves doing it so that they could then submit these recordings to insurance investigators to collect money. And they did it in Lake Arrowhead in order to convince people that, in fact, this was a bear. I'm out. I ain't no way people are getting this when it comes to frauding, defrauding insurance claims. They got a bear suit and then put in a claim. This couldn't have worked for real. Let's see. Take a close look at this grainy security video. What do you see? A bear, an animal, something else? It turns out state investigators say what you're looking at is a human dressed in a bear costume, staging what would turn out to be several insurance fraud claims to luxury vehicles, totaling a little more than $140,000. The suspects sent these videos to their insurance companies, claiming a bear tore up their cars. The Time out, man. They didn't put fake claws on the seat to make you really believe that a bear didn't did it. I think a bear rip a hole in that seat. There's no way to be just that little scratch right there. Those involved have been arrested and are now facing serious fraud charges. Oh, my goodness. This man lives next door to two of the suspects. He says police came early this morning to make arrests. It was 7 o'clock. We opened the door. They told us to shut it. Really? So we were kind of peeking through. They had to. Ram, ram thing or whatever, you know. We showed him the videos of what investigators say is the fake bear car invasions. That's amazing. I never would have never thought of that. I mean, uh, you know, that's pretty far out there. But, hey, you know, whatever works. But, I mean, if they found a bear suit. And, in fact, investigators. Oh, hell no. Not a bear suit. Like So they actually put a hot bear suit on, went, videotaped it and then decided to put it in insurance claims. Getting smart, but it ain't gonna work forever. There's always some slick stuff. These people slick. Investigators did find a bear costume. This is it, complete with fake claws. They also sent these photos of what the suspects claimed was damage to the insides of their car. Come on, man. A bear would've did that little dent, a little baby, baby little scratch. What was that, a baby bear? Cause it definitely wasn't a mama bear or a papa bear. That was a baby pair. Ours. The scratch marks appear suspiciously symmetrical. State investigators say the suspects tried the scheme multiple times using a 2010 Rolls Royce and several other high-end Mercedes models. Whoever's inside that vehicle is not moving like a bear. <laughs> He's moving like a human. Harry Kazakian is a licensed state insurance fraud investigator. Insurance investigators are trained extensively to detect fraud, not only human factor detecting fraud, as well as we now there's the AI and we got all kinds of cross referencing. Kazakian points out it's not just how the so called bear is moving in the cars, it's how they entered. And then, of course, so wait a minute. So a bear walk up with a big old claw, places it under the handle, flip it up, and walks on in. What's going on? Y'all want to go ahead and get me some uh, juices and berries out of here. And then put a claim in on the insurance. So I'm sure they did a full uh, coverage insurance claim because you don't want to be caught with that other stuff. You want to get the best insurance and uh, put the claim in. So evidently they were able to get some money back a few times. But insurance people are not stupid, man. They're going to investigate and figure it out but it looks like four of them been arrested. Let's see what else happened. First, opening the door and getting inside the vehicle, that is highly suspect and questionable. Well, there you have it. These suspects apparently face several years behind bars. They tried this scheme at two different insurance companies. Reporting live in Glendale, I'm talking. So there is absolutely no way that anybody can believe that a real bear did that. A bear will rip a hole completely through that seat. And why would they want to go in a car anyway? If a real bear wanted to go into a vehicle, it would have to have like what some peanut butter 
or some type of something that that bear wants to go after some food, something that they smell, something that would be better. Why would they just want to go in a car, tear up a car, and all of a sudden, oh, yeah, look, y'all, bear's been breaking in my car for no reason. Now, it would have been smarter for them to put, like, I say some other evidence. This little bit of evidence, this ain't going to do it. But four people have been arrested. What do you think about this? This is craziness. Fraudulent car insurance. It doesn't pay in 2024 to be a criminal, as you can tell. It is very difficult to be a criminal in 2024. So what do you think about this? Is this something that they're going to perfect and try to do again? Or somebody may do a copycat in the future? Or is this something that was a one-off? It'll never happen again. It was just a crazy news story. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. And support this channel. FutureCashflowClub.com is my website. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Perfect.